You know what? Every species on the planet needs to adapt to the world around it to survive. Human beings are no exception. We didn't exist millions of years ago. The oldest skeleton of a modern person ever found is about 196,000 years old. But even in this relatively short period of time, our species has evolved a lot. In fact, we've never stopped evolving. At least that's what some scientists think. And some of our traits seem to prove it. About 20,000 years ago, I wasn't around then. Only children could drink milk without getting an upset stomach. But then humans domesticated animals like cows and goats. A new gene developed in people's bodies down the generations. Today, about a third of all the world's population can drink milk in adulthood. In fact, this ability actually developed independently among different groups of people all over the planet. Our jaws are also not as big as the ones our extinct relatives had. They got smaller because our soft, processed food is nothing like the diet of our ancestors. Our teeth themselves have become smaller too, and some have even disappeared completely. Plenty of people may never develop third molars, known as wisdom teeth. But for our ancestors, these teeth were vital. Third molars usually develop when someone is 18 to 25 years old. By this time, most of our ancestors' teeth had become worn out, so the third molars were possibly replacements. But some slight changes in human anatomy may have nothing to do with evolution. For example, people have generally gotten taller over the past few hundred years. The most likely cause of this is simply better nutrition, as well as access to modern medical care, and perhaps basketball. But what changes await humanity in the future? Of course, nobody can tell for sure. But the experts do have some interesting theories. One possibility is that we could get shorter as we adapt to life on our overpopulated planet. Studies have shown that shorter people consume a lot less energy and resources than taller people. In the era of hunter-gatherers, humans didn't meet many others in their day-to-day -day lives. Now, people have to adapt to life in densely populated cities. And who knows? Maybe given enough time, our genes will respond to this change and reduce the average person's height. Another possibility is that more and more people will look alike. Modern humans travel a lot. As different types of people interact and have children, our genes are becoming more and more mixed up. In the future, this might make some physical characteristics a lot more unusual. The average-looking person might have darker skin and hair, and traits like freckles or blue eyes could become a rarity. Some scientists think that evolution won't play an important role in our future at all. Unlike our ancestors who lived millions of years ago, we now have a very advanced culture based on cooperation and modern technology. So, we no longer need to literally struggle to survive. Because of this, we may actually stop developing as a species and remain pretty much the same far into the future. If our evolution does continue, though, there's a chance we'll become more complex and intelligent creatures. Because of technological progress, the way we deal with problems could depend more on our intelligence than our physical abilities. So our brains might become larger. This may already be happening. I know mine is getting bigger. Some scientists' measurements show that the skulls of Americans are actually getting bigger on average. The room in there for the brain has increased about the size of a tennis ball. Or maybe the opposite will happen, and our brains will shrink. This direction of development has actually been around for a lot longer. Some people think that the male human brain has been getting smaller for the past 20,000 years. Hey, just ask females. If it continues to decrease at the same rate for the next 20,000, it'll end up being the same size as the brain of an archaic human who lived about 2 million years ago. Wait, does that mean we're becoming less intelligent? Well, a bigger brain doesn't always mean greater intellect. We just might be evolving to have smaller but super efficient brains. Another theory is that our bodies might learn to use calories from fast food. Things like pizza, fries, and donuts contain trans fats. These chemicals are difficult for our bodies to digest. But what if humans of the future somehow adapt to this kind of food, if we eat it for long enough? After all, the same process has already happened with milk. 
In a few thousand years, people may develop genes that can break down trans fats and absorb something healthy from them. If they still enjoy eating burgers and fries, of course. Mmm, donuts. People of the future might have less hair than we do today. Hair was vital for our ancestors. It helped regulate their body temperature, keeping them warm in cold climates and cool in hot environments. Even today, we still have practically the same amount of hair as many apes do. But some scientists have pointed out that our hair is nowhere as near as important to our survival as it once was. Since we now have modern heating systems and clothing for any environment, maybe given enough time, we'll become a lot less hairy. Then they'll be saying, eh, he wasn't very fuzzy, was he? Yet our hair still serves many purposes. Our eyelashes protect our eyes from dust, and eyebrows keep them clear of sweat. Some experts think the hair on our heads even helps stabilize the temperature of the brain. So we probably won't become completely hairless, just a little smoother. And now the bad news. Human beings of the future may have weakened immune systems and become more vulnerable to illnesses. New medical technology and antibiotics can improve our health. But there's the risk that they could make our immune system lazier and unprepared for fighting infections over time. Many generations down the line, it's possible that the human body might not be able to withstand even simple diseases without serious medical help. Today, human development isn't determined by biology alone. Technology also plays a role. Maybe one day, people will stop waiting for evolution to give them what they want and begin to change themselves using advanced tech. Doctors already use artificial devices to help people with health problems. So who's to say that machinery and computers won't be used in the far future to completely change our physical abilities? Our descendants might get different kinds of brain implants. Or it could be that people will be equipped with artificial eyes with camera functions. But in this scenario, we could also end up being less knowledgeable. Why learn a foreign language or remember historical dates when all the world's information has been downloaded right into your brain? If human beings eventually become a multi-planet species and colonize Mars, our bodies could begin to adapt to life beyond Earth in interesting ways. The contrast between the environment on Earth and the red planet is so huge that evolution may actually speed up. In this case, humans could adapt to the new physical conditions in as little as 6,000 years, or just a few hundred generations. In the low-gravity environment of outer space or alien worlds, the structure of our muscles could change. We won't need some of them, while others will develop more quickly. The amount of body fat we have may increase in a cold climate. Low temperatures may also make us grow thick, long hair again. Our skin may become more pigmented and therefore better protected from harmful UV radiation. And our eyelids might get thicker to protect our eyes from all the cosmic rays outside the Earth's atmosphere.